hey what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and uh, j mains 2021 february shift results have been declared please write down in the comment section how much percentile you are getting and uh, i hope you all will do better in your upcoming attempts and in today's video i have a question that a block of mass small m is placed on a plank of mass capital M that rests on a frictionless floor. The block is connected to an obstruction on the plank with the help of a light spring of stiffness k as shown in the figure. Okay. Initially when the spring is relaxed the block is given a velocity v0 towards the obstruction. If the block stops on the plank before reversing its direction of motion relative to the plank find the velocity v0. Okay. So, we will start this problem by changing our frame of reference to the plank. So, initially the block is given a velocity v0. Okay, v0. Now, whenever this block got a velocity v0, a frictional force starts acting on the block towards left and equal amount of frictional force starts acting on the plank towards right. The spring starts getting compressed so it also pushes the block towards left okay kx and uh, it also pushes the plank towards right with the force of kx now i will solve this question while standing on the plank or by changing my frame of reference to the plank so first let me draw the free body diagram of the plank so when this block starts moving towards the right the forces acting on the plank would be the frictional force okay that is mu mg and uh, the force due to spring that is kx at any instant t so the total acceleration created by these two forces would be this one okay so now if i draw the free body diagram of the small mass m small m the forces acting on this small m mass while we observe this standing on the plank there would be a spring force towards left there would be a frictional force towards left there would be a pseudo force also that is m times small a so all these three forces tries to oppose the motion of small m and trying to reduce the velocity of it to zero so work done by all these forces would be the change in kinetic energy of small m. So work done is negative kx plus mu mg plus mu small mg again sorry small m square plus k small m times x okay sorry this one would be small m times a so this is the total work done by all the forces on the small block and it is equal to final kinetic energy with respect to the plank minus initial kinetic energy with respect to the plank okay so this minus gets cancelled out and the limit goes from 0 to x naught let us say so we got half k x naught square plus mu mg x naught plus mu m square by capital M g x naught plus half k m capital M x naught square equals half m v naught square. So this is what we got and as you can see there are two unknowns one is x naught and one is v naught and we need to find out v naught so we need to replace x naught. If you see the question once again, there it is written that if the block stops on the plank before reversing its direction of motion relative to the plank, that means the block was first moving towards right and uh, the block just stops when it tries to go towards left. That means while standing on the plank, if you observe the block, whenever the block is trying to change its direction, it is unable to change actually because the pushing force of the spring is totally neutralized by the frictional force okay 
So, just at that instant mu m g becomes equals to k x naught. So, x naught equals mu m g by k. So, just replace your x naught in the above equation. So, mu square m square g by k square plus mu m g again it becomes mu square m square g square by k plus mu m square by capital M g x naught m g by k plus half k small m by capital M x naught square okay, equals half m v naught square. Now, so let us just simplify this relation here. So, just um, cancelling these things. Um, okay. So, we have 3 by 2 mu square m square g square by k fine plus mu m square sorry m cube mu square g square divided by m k and this one is also mu square 3 by 2. Okay. So, half m v naught square so, square. So, we have v naught square equals 3 mu square g square by k and uh, 1 m also. So, we have m by k. So, m by capital M plus small m. Okay. So, let us further write like this small m plus oops here it will be 1 capital M. So, we have v naught equals mu g root over 3 m small m plus capital M divided by m times k. So, this is our final answer. You can now just put down the values of the given variables and you will get your final answer, but I will keep it up to it uh, up to this part. So, I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative. If you like this video, please do subscribe, do share with your friends okay? and I will keep on bringing this kind of videos in our future sessions. Thank you.